everybody, it is Kalaxon here. Before we get started, let me thank my patrons, Academy Professor Jackson Buchanan, Edwin, Huntsman Tier, Flashy, Huntsman in Training, Emmy Cat, and new recruit Sully and Rooter. So there was a bit of problems getting the pack, the DLC, working. But other than that, everything's okay. So this is gonna be a costume showcase. We're gonna have a little bit of a fashion show right here. Not gonna really um, play too much of the game, but I just wanna show you kind of their outfits and get, you know, up close and personal, as up close as I can get um, with the characters. You can see that it, it doesn't change like their moves or anything like that. Um, they, they've I'm pretty sure they made sure that uh, panty shots and things are impossible. Um, so this is Ruby in her outfit. This is her animation with her outfit. It's cute. Um, it's just her uniform, so uh, they all kind of have a similar one. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna fight with her for a little bit, but again, her fighting isn't too different um, from how it usually is. It isn't different at all. It doesn't look too different, but actually it seems like it, um, I don't know that she's more like free. Like, I don't know how big her skirt is, but you can see, uh, I feel like you can see her better almost. Like she's not obscured by anything. Um, so yeah, one last look at Ruby in the new clothes. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's, let's go on and, uh, look at the others. I was really excited for this pack. Let's be real though, guys. I don't think it was worth the $8 I paid for it, but I wanted to show you guys so you could make an, afor an informed, like, buying decision. Um, and so here is Weiss. Weiss does not have the knee socks that Ruby does. I guess Weiss doesn't wear them. I don't remember uh, when they wore their uniforms well enough. Uh, but yeah, here's Weiss here. Uh, how do we get the camera so it's more... Z ah, there we go. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> right into the grass. Good job, Cal. So you can see she does not have the knee socks. She still does her twirl. Um, her fighting animations pretty much look uh, the same, but it's kind of the same thing. Without her big skirt in the way, it just seems like you can visually see more than her, but that may be just a me thing. That may just be a weird thing that I've noticed. Um, let's fight with her a little bit. All of her attacks are pretty much the same. You just kind of, you see more of her because not a lot of her is obstructed. So why don't we go ahead and switch? There's Blake. Blake also doesn't have the knee socks. She still has her bow. Her animation is pr is uh, still the same. Uh, you guys saw it right there in her clothes. It's kind of weird to see Blake in a skirt because her other outfit obviously has her pants. Um... It seems like her uh, rock thing actually may be different. It may reflect the skirt part, uh, if you guys saw that right there. And so, yeah, that's pretty much for Blake's outfit. Let's try to get a nice close-up again without all this grass in the way and these grim in the way. All right, so let's move on to Yang. She has the um, leggings, the kilt tights, like her sister. Uh, you can see her... We get a nice, nice close and personal look at Yang. You can see her animation is the same. How she fights. Uh, again, it's kind of weird to see her in a skirt. Um, just because uh, Yang also... you. Well, I guess she does wear shorts. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there, there's her uh, final animation. Uh, there's not too much to show off here, obviously. But I thought I would just show them fighting anyway. So you guys can see if you would like it. So here's Ruby. Again, there's her animation. Um, she's fighting in heels, um, which is interesting because that didn't go for her too well when she tried to fight Cinder. Uh, everything, again, it's pretty much the same. Her dress is different uh, than her normal uh, skirt, though, and so it's nice to see, like, it, it it's kind of free-flowing, and you can see uh, how it moves right here, that it moves a bit differently. If you guys want to put it in slow motion to see how her dress twirls. Um, I think it does look a bit different and that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's look at Ruby. Again, her little uh, happy uh, thing there. Let's see her ultimate. Cool. White ha Weiss has some nice leggings here. Her dress does a little twirl as well. Um, her dress uh, also 
uh, does the little uh, twirly thing, especially, I don't know, it just, it looks a lot more uh, free-flowing again than her combat skirt. Uh, you guys can kind of see what I mean, like, it's just, it's twirling a lot. They put in some mad dress physics in here, man. Uh, so, again, her ultimate, and I think uh, that's pretty good. So, again, one last look at Weiss in the grass, uh, fighting, <laughs> fighting the Grim. We can get up close, see her do her, her thing here. Um, bending in that dress must not be very comfortable. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's let her do her ultimate. I didn't get a good enough look at it. I want to see, like, the stone part. Yeah, it, I think that for, they've kept it the same as her. They haven't changed, um, how her stones are made based on her outfit, which I don't mind. It just, it looked like that before, so I'm wondering if it's just me or... Um, if they did change it, I just didn't notice. Anyway, that's something you guys can debate about whether they did or not. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll take one last look at Blake, and then go on EA. Though, hers looks weird, because you can see, like, that they're, like, as she moves, it wasn't, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's breaking into two as she moves, uh, like her, uh, legs would, if you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, but, uh, that's okay. So let's see her do her ultimate. Nice. That- that leg split though, let's see that again. Aw, oh, that must not be- that must not be comfortable, uh, for- for her. Anyway, I like how she has her gauntlets on during this. I mean, she needs to, but it just- I don't know, it's funny to me. Anyways, let's move on to Team Juniper, but let me kill this Grim first. Uh, there- there are no dress physics to be seen here. It looks pretty- pretty much the same. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'll have you guys get a better look at him. That, that, that glow, though, on his, on his, uh, school uniform. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and switch to Nora. So here's Nora. She does not have knee socks, uh, like, uh, Weiss and Yang, wait, no, Yang did. Uh, Weiss and Blake, I think, they didn't have it. I like her little animation in her, in her skirt. It's very cute. Um... I don't think I'll be able to kill enough Grim to load up her ultimate, but you guys can see her fighting right here. Uh, so I think that is it for Nora. Let's get a close-up of her. Yes. Alright, so why don't we go and check out Pira. Uh, Pira does not have knee socks. She has full tights. Uh, I don't think any of the other girls had that. She's still fighting pretty swell in her skirt. Let's get a close-up of her and have her do her animation. Yep, it's all good. I want to do her uh, special attack and see her spin. Yes. And let's do it again. So yeah, you guys see that basically um, it kind of does the same like leg uh, thing as Yang's did, but just not to the same extent. Like, it you, you can tell a little bit that the skirt, uh, is attached to her legs, if that makes sense. Because look as she walks, like, how it's, like, there's two separate pieces. They could have worked that out a bit better, but, you know. I can't program anything, so I can't really judge. But you guys, you guys can see what I mean, right? Uh, but yeah, there's Pira. She looks very cute, and let's move on to Ren. So this is our close-up of him. This is him doing his pose, which is a bit strange, but that's alright. Again, it's not, it does not have any, uh, fancy, uh, dress physics or anything like that. There's him doing his ultimate. Let's do that again. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Ren. I don't have a lot to say about this one. My favorite so far is probably just Ruby's, uh, just because her dress is very, like, dress physic heavy I guess it just it does a lot of cute like twirls and you can kind of see how it spins around and so I may be biased in that regard this is probably the best part of the pack is that John is not wearing what he originally wore to the dance but rather he is wearing the dress that he wore uh, you can kind of see the same thing I'm talking about, how those two dress pieces seem to be attached to the legs, uh, because they're not, it's not all going up together as the legs move, which, I mean, it should, um, but, you know, it's, it, it's K, it's K. Uh, I just, I kind of wish it did to, uh, make me feel better about that, like, $8. Um, 
I, there's his animation. I feel like I didn't do that when I showcased his other outfits, but it's all right. I like like those runners. Uh, l let's see if he has some uh, fancy dress physics too. Uh, oh wait, I guess he doesn't have a spinny ultimate. Oh well, we'll just have to watch him as he fights. Still got that glowing yellow uh, spirit around him. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Jean. You guys can kind of see it doesn't it doesn't spin like Ruby's does, but you know it's 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 all good. It's all good. All right, that's really cute. That's a that's really cute in her dress, her pose. Uh, so let's go down there and fight a little bit. Yes, her dress seems to be twirling as well. I'll have oops, I'll have you see that if you want to go on slow motion. You can see her little twirl there. Uh, so yeah, I really like this dress actually like I'm a bit biased because my favorite color is pink despite you know Me having blue hair, but there isn't really a blue ruby character uh, Or a character in ruby that has a lot of blue outfits I guess Weiss does but it's not the blue that like I would go for obviously She has some dress physics going on here, too. That's what I'm gonna guys take a shot every time I say dress physics It's gonna be fun. You're, you'll have more fun with this DLC anyway, so there's her uh animation you see how her dress moves outwards i really like that it's kind of awkward though because you can you can like i don't know how to explain it but you guys kind of see what i'm talking about just how her knees move up and you can kind of see underneath her skirt a little bit she's the only one i think you could take a panty shot out of um also you guys just saw her ultimate right there of her spinning around uh i'm sure some pira fans will be very happy uh that <laughs> uh you uh can see a, a bit a bit more than uh, maybe uh, some of the rest of us desire to uh, but you know whatever I, I like it I really like this dress too especially because they put a lot of uh, effort I think in focusing on how it moves and stuff like that also do you guys see that Ren is through the board here like look at his legs I didn't notice that before is that, is that supposed to happen all right well let's get a good shot of him let's do his yawn again yeah, looking good, Ren. All right, so let's do his ultimate in his clothes like I did for mostly everyone. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that after Ren, that is pretty much it. I've gone through all of them. So as for what's my favorite Pyrrha's dress, just because of how they did it, but like style-wise, I also like Ruby's little twirl thingy, <laughs> and I also like Nora's because it's pink. Uh, but as a, for the DLC as a whole, like, here's basically my short form. You guys don't have to listen to me. Like, if you're happy and you have $8 to, like, throw around, you know, you go, you go do that. But it shouldn't be $8. <laughs> At most, it's, like, 5 and under. Like, 3 $3 would have probably been a good price. Or 5 Uh, but for me, it was 8 I don't know if the price is different for you guys, because I'm in Canada. And so they may have upped the price a little bit, because our dollar isn't the same. But I do not think that it is worth eight dollars exactly uh but you know i still i'm gonna enjoy it it's gonna be fun having pure in her dress it's nice to have more costumes to the game but i wish they would add more teams instead because that is something i would uh like to pay five or eight dollars for uh because you know eight dollars on steam uh that can get you a full game and not just a dlc but i'm not that salty about it i do really like it i i think it's like it's half worth it like i need to play through it obviously to kind of enjoy it more uh but just i i wanted to give you guys a look at it so you could form your own opinions again you don't have to listen to me if you like it you like it if you're happy i'm glad that you're happy Anyway, uh, it is available now on Steam if you guys also want to get it. So guys, uh, that is it for this video. Thank you again to my patrons, Academy Professors, uh, Jackson Buchanan and Edwin, Huntsman Tier Flashy, Huntsman in Training, Emmy Cat, and New Recruit Solly and Rooter. So if you guys want to see me make more videos, you should subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I make a lot of Ruby videos uh, now nowadays. So uh, you guys should totally uh, check that out and tell me what you think about the pack because I reply to every comment and I want to see your thoughts. So guys, I will see y'all later. Bye-bye!